To determine if N2 is polar or nonpolar, let's first look at the Lewis structure. That describes the distribution of valence electrons around the molecule, and then it can help us determine polarity. So here's the Lewis structure for N2. You can see there's a triple bond in the middle, and then we have two lone pairs, one on either end of each nitrogen. If we look at the molecular geometry for N2, we can see it's a linear molecule. You see the triple bond in the middle, and it's not shown, but the lone pair, there's one on either end of the nitrogen. If we take a look at the electrostatic potential, that's the charge on the surface of the molecule, you'll see that there really is no difference. It's uniform. It's the same all around the molecule. So there's really no net dipolar charge on this molecule. Because this is a symmetrical molecule, all the electrons are going to be shared equal between the two nitrogen atoms. In fact, they're the same atom, so they're going to pull equally on those electrons, have that same electronegativity, and there'll be no difference in charge. If there's no difference in charge, there'll be no poles, and it will be a nonpolar compound. This is Dr. B with the polarity of N2, and thanks for watching.